Okay, on this screen we see a Windows mobile device on the left and an Android device on the right here. Uh, both devices are a little uh, taller in actual uh, use than you see on the screen here. It's just the way the perspective these viewers are giving you. Um, I'm going to look at the differences between the, uh, the two uh, applications running on the Windows mobile and on the Android platform. Uh, obviously the differences, but it's very, very similar. So in the Windows mobile, we're going to click on the start and we would select the Timer Pro. And in the Android, you can see the Timer Pro icon on the screen. There would, of course, be many more icons here, depending what you have running on your device here. So we click on the Timer Pro on the Windows mobile. And um, I just have to touch the screen on the, um, on the Android device. And here you see the main menu. So you can see on the left, uh, select Template, um, Create New Study, Open last study. So basically, we've used most of the same buttons here that have been required are in the Android that were in the Windows mobile device. If I click on the Open last use study on the mobile device, and I'll do the same over here, just tap on it, Open last use study on the Android, you'll see the screen change. And uh, what you'll see is a very similar type of presentation. Um, this is a, it's actually on the actual device screen. It's a little clearer here. Again, it's just the emulator here. But you can see the same idea. Get work order, walk to storage, get part. And it's presented to you here. So the presentation of the elements is the same. And it's a little bit more dynamic on the Android. We're able to take advantage of that to uh, space things out a little bit better. Um, down here, you can see this is where the data is going to be collected. And down here, you can see the start, the stats, the elements, and the head are marked down here as well. Uh, on the mobile device, you can see we've got a little stick figure here, and over here, this is the subjects, different subjects, and over here, you can see we've got a little subject uh, button here. Uh, underneath it, we've taken the done, the restart elements and info are down here as well. So you really need a stylus on the uh, sp on the smartphone version of the Android devices. On a tablet, you can get away probably with using your fingers. Uh, the auto off and the repeat, you can see, have been put down here at the bottom right, take advantage of it. The log we don't need anymore because uh, it's basically a scrolling screen here. So to perform the data collection, we basically on the Windows Mobile hit the start button, and of course the stylus, and then uh, you see the clock running here. When that element finishes, you hit the time, it moves on to the next one. And that element finishes, you move on to the next one. We've predefined a sequence here, which is covered in the, uh, in the uh, configuration area. But you can see it moving down through the elements here. So if I stop it right there, I can do the same on the Android device. So in this case, on the Android device, I would tap the uh, the start button, and the get work order appears at the bottom. You can see the clock running at the bottom right over here, All right? And it looks basically the same. You hit the time, and that will be added there. And then there's a walk to storage, and you hit the time, and then the get part medium at the time, and there's a pack here. Now we do have a little bit more uh, real estate on the Android device, so we're going to give you another row or two here. So you can see it moving up the screen as we do that. We keep on doing it. The time has been added here. Uh, so that's like a full screen of data uh, going in right there. So as you can see, the two uh, programs are very, very similar, actually. And um, uh, all of the other supporting functions are there as well. So if you care to look at the individual uh, uh, videos of each of the features in the following section. Uh, you should get a good overview of how to use the package on the Android.